What's up guys, this is an update for month 14 of the Race to $5,000 case study where I try to take a website monetized exclusively through informational articles and a Zoic to $5,000 per month. In month 14, I had a pretty good month, the revenue went up and I added a couple of articles but not as many as I would have liked. So let's jump into it. Content added this month was only eight articles, getting me to 210 articles on the website. Four of those articles were pillar articles for my shotgun skyscraper campaign that I'm about to start. And the other ones were just ones I managed to get in uh, at the end of a day when I had a bit of spare time. I haven't actually been lazy, I promise. Uh, I actually published 107 articles across my portfolio this month. Uh, I've got 12 writers now. I hired a bunch of new writers and they're pumping out a lot of articles at a pretty good pace for me. Uh, it's just that this site, I'm not paying any writers to do. So I only get time to do this when I'm not sort of doing editing of my writer's work. Okay, let's look at the traffic. As I predicted, traffic did go up quite a bit. That's because I'm coming out of a low seasonality right now. 141,000 page views this month, up from 108,000 last month. And I expect that to rise again. I wouldn't mind seeing this getting closer to 170 maybe in month 15. And then, uh, yeah, maybe if I can add more content, uh, I can get that even higher in the coming months. Okay, that brings us to revenue. Revenue was a bit lower this month, even though my uh, traffic was so much higher. And that's because I had a lower EPMV and I'll show you that on the next slide. This is a screenshot from my Ezoic dashboard. This video is sponsored by Ezoic. The whole case study is sponsored by Ezoic. Uh, something that you should be aware of at the moment if you're an Ezoic member, uh, the Ezoic Customer Week is coming up. So go and give them a testimonial. I think I can get a link I'll leave below. If you give them a testimonial, then uh, you can go in the running to win some prizes. So that might be worth your while to give them a testimonial. They're also rolling out some new features every day to Ezoic customers. So stay tuned for that. It's 13th of September. Okay, so you can see here that my revenue went down a little bit uh, around about the 10th of August, but most of that revenue drop was because of lower premium ad partner earnings. The reason my premium ad partner earnings are down is because I sold the website this month, and when that website was sold, then my premium tier dropped. And with a lower premium tier, you make less money from premium, so my EPMV is down quite a bit. Uh, this month, unfortunately. Okay, I'm showing DA and DR now as well, just because I'm doing a shotgun skyscraper campaign and the one of the metrics of measuring whether or not it's working is that my DA and DR will go up as I get more links. The reason that I am trying to get more links is not necessarily so I can rank better on Google, it is to increase my DA and DR to intimidate other people out of trying to compete against me. If I am a site with a DR of 50, less people are gonna say, oh look, this is a low quality blog that I can outrank. Uh, so it's just an intimidation tactic more than anything to increase my DA and DR. So it's, it's a metric worth looking at uh, just on account of it kind of makes other people say, hey, this is a high quality blog, whether or not you like those metrics or not. If you're not a fan of DA and DR, don't comment in the comments below. No one cares about your opinion. If you don't like it, get on with your day. Uh, you know, don't be annoying. Okay, shotgun skyscraper, pillar posts. I added four pillar posts this month. One thing I did learn is is the more, the better the pillar posts, the less pillar posts you have to create. So next time I do a shotgun skyscraper uh, tactic, I'll try to find as competitive an article as possible so that I can only write one pillar post and just get a bunch of links to the one post. But anyway, it's done now. I wrote four pillar posts and that was enough to get me 2,500 email prospects. Uh, I had no ads on these posts, got no sidebars. It's just really high quality content. One of the articles actually took me like six days to write. It was crazy. Um, and I created custom infographics for it as well. These have to be really good quality articles because I'm asking people to link to them. Okay, so to find um, articles, I did Keywords Explorer and found the most difficult keywords I could find in my niche. So here's one of the ones I found. It was a DR73. Uh, and you can see that all in the SERP overview for this keyword, there are just the, the people ranking at the top are just getting 
tons and tons of backlinks. So the idea is to email all the people linking to all of these people ranking for the article and to try to ask them to link to me instead because I've got a better article, it's newer, it's got more up-to-date information, etc. So I downloaded the Ahrefs reports of all the people linking to all of these top people on the SERPs and I put those reports into Excel. Then I sorted the reports a little bit. You can see here, that's 2034 email addresses I managed to find after the sort. Uh, as part of the sorting, I only chose domains between DR5 and 80. I chose English domains only because I don't want Russian or Chinese links. Google will just see that as spammy. I removed forums because I don't want forum links, but I did keep wiki links. I'm not sure if I'll do that in the future, whether or not it's worthwhile uh, getting links from wikis. And I removed any duplicate domains, so I'm not going to email the same person twice. So once I sorted through all of that, I created a new Gmail address as well. I don't want to use my own you know, domain. So for example, chris at nishsafari.com because I don't want the, the email filters to see my domain name as sending out spammy emails. So I just use the Gmail address instead. Uh, to get the Gmail address, I realized that I needed to get a burner phone number. So I downloaded the Hushed app and bought a burner phone number. And then uh, I signed up using a burner phone number from Hushed. And then I set up Gmask, which is a app that you can add to Gmail to send out mass emails. Uh, one of the things you need to do is create a unique tracking domain. I used one of my failed domain names as a tracking domain. I'll leave a link below for Gmask on how to set up tracking domains. So I'm just show, walking you through all the steps that I needed to take to set up a shotgun skyscraper campaign to show you that it's quite a complicated thing. I also use Gmask's free Gmail address warm-up service. You can see the first few days, those, thing, those pink in the first couple of days is my emails landing in spam. So this is why warming up your email address is so important. Uh, the first few days, you're gonna get a lot of your emails landing in spam. And then as, you, as we go, you can see more and more of them are landing in the inbox. And I'm sending out more and more emails per day just to warm up the email address. So I wanted to give it a month to warm up, and which is one of the reasons why the skyscraper campaign hasn't actually kicked off yet. Okay, then I used Hunter.io to find email addresses. So that list from uh, Excel that I showed you earlier, I uploaded that Excel sheet to Hunter.io. So there were, what, 2,000 plus domains in that list. I uploaded them all to Hunter.io, and Hunter.io got to work trying to find email addresses for each and every one of those domains. Uh, that's the settings that I used in case you wanted to follow my settings just in terms of how many email I, email addresses per domain I asked for. I just asked for the top email address for each domain and I prioritized the marketing or communication departments. Okay, so after, for all four of the pillar posts, you can see here that I ended up with 4,600 domains and from that, 6,800 email addresses were found. This is actually a test that it is I'm no longer using. Those 6,800 email addresses found was when I was asking it to find 10 email addresses per domain name. I cut that down to one email address per domain name. I think I've got around about 2,000 email addresses in total now. Okay, once uh, Hunter.io gave me all the email addresses, the annoying thing about it is that the, it spits out the email addresses, but it doesn't keep the URLs. So now I've just got a bunch of disconnected email addresses and I needed to use a macro to link the email addresses back into my original spreadsheet. Uh, to do that, I got a friend to share me with share me his macro that, that does it. It's really, it's really simple and works really well. He actually paid a developer uh, $50 to set that up. So if you're going to do a shotgun skyscraper campaign, you know, factor that in as an, an additional cost that you're going to need a developer to set up a macro for you to reverse engineer that. That's one thing that uh, the authority hacker guys didn't mention, uh, but is something that's really worth uh, knowing before you get started. Okay, um, so overall the setup for the shotgun skyscraper has taken me six weeks it is really advanced stuff like i've had to, it's been a real learning curve i've also looked at spencer hawes's shotgun skyscraper article uh, he's talked about what in his uh, podcast i'm not going to share it if you if you follow spencer hawes you'll know uh what article he used for his shotgun skyscraper campaign in fact you don't even need if you've got if you've got ahrefs type in onlyyard.com in ahrefs click best uh, articles by links and it's, it'll be the one with the most links in it 
Um, so I looked at that and I looked at the links he was getting through shot, his shotgun skyscraper method. He was actually getting some pretty, like I was looking at some of the domains and maybe 50% of them, I really went, hey, this is obvious link farm. Uh, so I was really unimpressed by the quality of the domains that were linking to Spencer's shotgun skyscraper. So I'm gonna to have to be really careful about making sure that I'm not getting links from link farms. Uh, so that's just a passing comment. Um, so this coming month, I'm gonna be sending emails using the free GMAS account now that I've actually got all the email addresses and uh, I've got all the URLs. I can, I can set up a mail merge and start sending my emails as of, you know, today, tomorrow, whenever I get spare time to set up the mail merge. So I'm gonna use uh, the free GMAS account that has maximum of 50 emails per day on the free GMAS account. I'm actually only gonna send about 16 emails per day and that'll be about 480, 500 emails per month. And I'll send a three day and seven day follow up. Uh, the reason that I'm only sending about 500 emails a month is because at 1% success rate, that'll be 25, uh, sorry, five links per month or 25 li links in total. Uh, once I've sent all 2,500 emails. A 2% success rate, there'll be 50 links per uh, total or 10 per month at 500 emails sent per month because 2% uh, of 500 is 10, obviously. So I don't want to get more links than that per month right now because you know we've got a domain that hasn't been getting uh, links and if, if I just spike and suddenly start getting 25 links per month, it might look a little bit spammy according to Google. So I just wanna really slowly lead myself into uh, getting, um, getting these links. Okay, so cost so far, I've spent $100 per month on Ahrefs. Obviously, I do that all the time. Uh, I've just got an Ahrefs account that just renews every month. But if you are gonna uh, do shotgun skyscraper, keep into account that you're either gonna have to spend $100 for a month of Ahrefs or $7 for a week. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, it's a lot of work and it'll probably take you more than a week. So you're probably better off buying a full month's Ahrefs uh, subscription. You'll also need to spend $100 for 2,500 email addresses from Hunter IO. So total spend so far has been $200 plus a heck of a lot of time and learning curve. Okay, so all this work, or you could just use get niche website builders to build links for you using their shotgun skyscraper. Their budget plan is $800 per month and you get eight links. Now, a lot of my friends have said, wait, wait a minute, that's way too expensive. To be honest, if you're gonna use an agency to build links for you, $100 per link isn't really that much. It's towards the lower end of the cost you're gonna spend. Plus, when you think about the amount of hard work, the fact that the niche website builders is probably paying 30 to $40 per link that they land as an editorial fee to the to whoever's gonna put the link on. Plus they've gotta pay their VAs to do all this work that I just showed you with developing all these Excel sheets and whatnot. They're probably not getting that much margin. I would, I would be surprised if they're making $40 per link on top of the cost that they're laying out. So, you know, to be honest, I don't think niche website builders is all that expensive for their shotgun skyscraper campaign. So, you know, Adam, Mark, give me an affiliate link, I'll leave it below. Um, and uh, yeah, if I manage to find an affiliate link from Adam and Mark for niche website builders, I'll leave it below. I think it is a worthwhile idea. The only reason that I'm doing it myself is A, I am cheap, but B, uh, I'm trying to do this on a larger scale. I'm hoping that eventually I'll just be able to roll out shotgun skyscraper campaigns every single month for, across all of my sites and my portfolio. Uh, and I'll have my own VAs doing it. So, you know, it's just, uh, because I'm doing it on a larger scale, I'd rather just do it myself. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an outline of where I'm up to with my shotgun skyscraper campaign. I know that this is a lot more advanced stuff, but as I said, uh, for my second year of this case study, I did want to get into the weeds and some more advanced stuff. So I may lose some of my sort of followers who just want the, you know, that basic stuff that I showed you at the start. But uh, yeah, I'm here to share with you some more advanced stuff and me learning how to do this advanced stuff. I don't know if my shotgun skyscraper campaign is even gonna work yet, but you know, uh, that's the whole idea. The whole idea is to, to let's step up to advanced SEO and see what happens. So I'll uh, g give you an update next month on how shotgun skyscraper is going and hopefully I'll squeeze in a bit of time to add uh, a few more articles as well to the site. All right guys, I'll see you next month.